what do they emergence mean? I mean, right. phase transitions emerge from the forces that act between particles. Uh, it's true that there are features of phase transitions which don't depend on the details of those forces. It's also true that there are facts about triangles that don't depend on the details of how the triangles are made. But you, if in order to answer the question whether or not those features apply to any particular physical system, you have to understand how those features of phase transitions emerge, I'll use the word, in the particular microscopic system you're talking about. And you know, not all systems have the same critical exponents. Um, the whole theory doesn't always work. Uh, it works when there is a logical necessity for it to work based on more fundamental principles. Um, I don't know of any case where we have generalizations, uh, at least within physics, I don't know that much about biology, but within physics I don't know any case where we have general principles that we can't see emerging from a lower level and we can identify the fundamental level from which they, fu f which, from which they are entailed. Uh, I don't, I mean, that's, I disagree very strongly with what you said about phase transitions. Can, can, I, can I just say, I, one of the interests here is now there's a, there's a sort of a physical story about emergence that we could struggle with. Um, but it seems to me that the reason that we're interested in the topic is, is and this is different people, maybe, but it's, it's partly because there's this naturalism, non-naturalism distinction. The question is, what's going to fit in our naturalism story? Are we going to eliminate in some strong sense, uh, and, and th that's what this morning was struggling with, what are we going to eliminate and what are our principles for eliminating them? Um, uh, my sense is that uh, we don't want to be too hasty at what we eliminate. And, that's, uh, and if that's going to allow the religious fundamentalists to say, aha, these, these guys don't really have it all together yet, uh, that's fine with me because I want to know what's the case, not, not about what they will take and run with. Uh, as an evolutionary biologist, I have been through my whole career battling against these people. I get letters probably every two or three days from somebody that you know tells me I'm about to go to hell or whatever because of my beliefs and because I'm messing up all these young minds and sending them to the devil. Um, I don't worry about that because I want to know how it works. Uh, and uh, if they take what I'm doing as sort of helping them along their game, I'm not too worried so long as I figure out what I'm talking about. So I, I want to be, this is I think the political side of this question that Dan was sort of hinting at. I'm um, certainly uh, come around to Dan's Yeah, yeah, no, yeah. I, I think <laughs> what we want to know is what is the case. Well, but I mean, so look, Massimo thinks that Steve's argument is not a knockdown argument, even though the history of physics shows only a one-way progression that things get entailed but the lower levels, but the lower, the higher levels don't entail the lower levels. Okay. But, but again, this Those is a bottom-up, top-down game. Yeah. Now, is, that the only yeah. is there a case in which you can show that a higher level emergence property cannot be consonant with something at a lower level? Well, I, I don't believe that there is such a thing. I mean, I mean, I could make up things like uh, if there was an innate tendency of life to improve, as, as used to be thought before Darwin, uh, people believed in evolution, but they thought it was because life, it's a law of life, that life tries to improve. And um, if that were true, I would say, well, uh, you know, that just means that there's separate biological laws. They are not, they are not entailed by physical laws. We live in a world governed by different bodies of law, and we just have to live with it. But... I mean, it was a great breakthrough to realize that that's not true, that in fact, uh, although you don't put it in terms of elementary particles, the kind of thing that allows life to get better is the kind of thing that can be entailed by the deeper level of elementary particles.